Governor Greg Abbott has agreed to help a teenager who made a desperate plea after his mother fell seriously ill from COVID. CBS's Maria Villarreal spoke with Emilian Sosa about the response that he's received. Erica Calderon was admitted to the hospital in South Texas just after New Year's. Her 14 year old son, Emilian Sosa, helped carry her to the ambulance. She's been intubated for a week. Our first dating prior because I was like in a panic attack, like we have to get her down immediately. Doctors say Calderon's lungs have been destroyed by COVID, limiting her treatment options. But after researching, the family found ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It's a form of life support that uses a special machine to add oxygen to the blood, giving the lungs time to heal. But that machine isn't available at any hospital near him in the Rio Grande Valley, meaning Emilian's mom, a housekeeper living on a limited budget, would need thousands of dollars to be transported to another hospital hundreds of miles away. And so this has been difficult, I would imagine. You're having to deal with some grown-up stuff. We need to get the help as much as possible. So that's why I set up that GoFundMe. Determined to fight for his mom, Emilian set up a fundraising effort to try and pay for a helicopter to transport her. He also wrote a letter to Texas Governor Greg Abbott asking for help. Elizabeth Guerrero is his high school counselor. When you hear Emilian saying, okay, I'm, I'm writing the governor, you know, I've got to figure this out. I mean, this is a 14-year-old boy. Did any part of you say, oh, it may not go the way you want it to? Yes, because, you know, we, we live in a world where horrible things happen. We have seen it time and time again where people don't make it, people don't respond. Within 24 hours, Sosa raised more than $30,000. His plea for help making its way to the Lone Star State Capitol. Governor Abbott tweeting Wednesday night, he spoke with Emilian and the equipment his mother needs was located, adding she should be in good medical care. Proof that sometimes even the smallest voices get heard. Regardless of the outcome, it's been proven that he's not alone in this world. A team of medical professionals evaluated Ms. Calderon late Wednesday night, and they do believe as of right now that she is strong enough to be transported. That should happen later today. She will be taken to Houston to Herman Memorial for that specialized treatment. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Dallas, Texas.